Good morning everyone. I am Dr. Humaira Fatima from Rama University Department of Commerce and Management. Today my topic is talent management. Now let me tell you what talent management is all about. As we all know that talent management is comprised of two words that is talent and management. So what is now let me tell you what talent is all about. It is an inbuilt quality of our employee. And what is management? As we all know that management is a term used in the organization to manage the overall activity of the organization. Thus, talent management is to manage the quality and inbuilt capacity of our employees which are within in the organization. Now here the question arises why we have to manage the talent of the employees? So the answer is this that we have so many talented employees in the organization whose talent is not considered in the organization, not recognized in the organization, so they feel demotivated and they want to leave the organization. So this is the most important thing to manage in the organization so that our employees feel motivated to work in the organization. Now here the question arises how they will feel the motivated. Now in order to feel them motivated we have compensation and reward management. We have development program. We have training program. Such things keep them motivated in the organization so that they can be properly engaged in the organization and proper work can be allotted to them. Now, what talent management comprises of? Here, I am telling you the talent management cycle, which starts from talent attraction, which is also named as talent acquisition. Then comes talent engagement. Then comes talent development and then comes talent retention. Now the first and the most important thing in talent management cycle is talent acquisition. Talent acquisition is the part in which we have to see how many employees we need in the organization and how many employees we already have in our organization so that whatever work is in the organization we can allot them in a timely and effectively. Now here comes the talent engagement. Now when the work is timely and effectively allotted to the employees, the next step is to engage them. In order to engage them, the proper work which is suitable to a particular employees, that should be allotted. Then comes the talent development program. In talent development program, we have many phases in order to develop the inner capabilities of the employees. These three are, in talent management cycle, these three are very much effective. But this is the most important thing in this talent management cycle. Because if we have acquired the talent effectively, then we have engaged them, developed them also, motivated them also, everything. But if they are not stayed back in the organization, then this is considered to be as the biggest loss for the organization. So in order to retain the employees, we have to maintain, a, we have to focus them very effectively. This is the term known as talent retention. This is the most important thing in this talent management cycle. Fine, now here the question uh, 
some people ask that why we have to consider this talent management and why we need to focus on this talent management though we have so many HRM practices also. Now let me tell you that we have HRM practices but this talent management comprises whole HRM practices. This is considered to be a broader term as compared to this. Because in HRM practices and policies, we considered only few practices. But in talent management, we considered all the policies and then we include HRM policies also. Now many people say why we have to uh, focus on employees so much. Because employees is the most crucial assets for any organization. Crucial means they are very much sensitive if they are not able to get anything, if they are not satisfied, they can retrench, they can leave the organization. And this is not good for any organization because it will be affected, the organization's good will be affected if the employees retrench on a daily basis or like if now and then they are recruiting the employees and then they have to do everything. So this is the most important crucial assets. Now here the question also arises, why do we need employees in the organization? We need employees in the organization, though so many machineries have been here in the organization, uh, uh, like day to day technologies are changing, machineries are getting established. So why do we need employees in the organization? The answer is in itself only. We need employees in the organization because all those machineries, all those technologies which have been implemented, which have been taken over by these employees, I mean manpower resources, manpower resources which have been taken over by machineries. Here manpower resources are taken over by machineries but these machineries and technologies are itself created by manpower resources. So the answer is this that we need uh, talented manpower in our organization is just because these machineries, these technologies, all those things are created by manpower and they are managed also by manpower.